Here with my very first Breaking Bad Season 5 episode review video is this is the Season 5 premiere of Breaking Bad. Before I get into that though, pretty important. If you are caught up to the point where I am at rewatch here and watching Breaking Bad, or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which of course I'll mention as well as put in the description. If that happens to be the case, you find out that you're not caught up, it would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. And for all of you out there that are wondering, I have seen Breaking Bad many times, at least eight times. This may even be my 10th time watching the show. So join me on the journey and let's discuss the show in the comment section along with the man, the myth, the legend, the Lucifer fanatic, the Dexter fan, and Breaking Bad fan himself, Crazy Coffee Man. And let's talk about this amazing show. With all that in mind, this will be Breaking Bad Season 5, Episode 1. The title of this episode is called Live Free or Die. And this will be my review reaction recap after just finishing watch the episode. We start off with a meal at Denny's. Hash browns, bacon, and eggs. It's Walt with hair. Walt says it's his birthday and he makes the bacon say 52. So we have a time jump, at least right now. Apparently, home for Walt is now New Hampshire. So Walt's talking to the waitress at Denny's, and he has to excuse himself to go to the bathroom. And Walt goes to the bathroom to meet with Lawson, gives him money. Lawson, of course, is the one that Walt bought the 38 snub from earlier in Season 4 of this amazing show. Walt tells Lawson it won't go across the border. So Walt leaves $100 for the waitress, even though, because it was his birthday, they talked about that, I forgot to mention that, uh, the meal would be free. And uh, Lawson has bought Walt a car with an M60 in the trunk, replaying the events of Walt telling Skyler, I won from the season four finale. Walt cleans up the kitchen at the White Residence, puts all the pipe bomb materials in a garbage bag, also grabs the Lily of the Valley plant and puts that into the garbage bag as well. Junior, Holly, and Skyler arrive home. Junior tells Walt about Mr. Fring. Holy shit, Junior says, and he's going on and on about this, like a really good dialogue part for, for Walter Jr. Even though I can't stand him as a character, this was like him talking consistently uh, and it wasn't just him eating breakfast or helping Walt when he was having a bad moment. Uh, when this hits the news, Uncle Hank is going to be a hero even more than before. Walt goes back into the bedroom. Hello, Skylar, says. Hello to you, too. Are you going to talk to me? Are you going to show some kind of mild relief that I am alive? She tells Walt she's scared of him. As Walt is sitting on the bed... He gets up and says, oh shit. Next we have Hank going down to the meth lab at the laundry map, or at least what's left of it. Gomi says, geez, just, just tell me I told you so already so I don't have to put you on dialysis. And then Hank spots where the camera is, or what's left of the camera at, or he thinks is a camera at the meth lab that's under the laundry mat. And uh, Mike is alive and feeding chicken. Uh, he's at uh, Barry Goodman, Dr. Barry Goodman's place. And then Dr. Goodman tells uh, or gets the call about Gustavo. He's dead. Then we have Mike in his car. He's pissed. He's driving to meet Walt and Jesse. You son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Mike wants to shoot Walt. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesse gets in the way. Get out of my way, kid. Mike, wait a minute. Let him talk. He's got something that you need to hear. If you kill him, you're going to have to kill me. I'm surprised he didn't add bitch at the end of that. Walt says, we have bigger fish to fry. The video cameras, the ones that were watching me and the ones that were watching you. Where did Gus keep the tape or the hard drive? And Mike says... The laptop is back at his office, and Mike wants the keys to the car. So Mike wants to be the one that drives. Walt, Jesse, and Mike take off with, of course, Mike driving the car. The DEA just got the laptop from the Los Poros Hermanos restaurant. It's going into evidence. Mike, Jesse, and Walt go back to Jesse's place. Mike says, we're 
were boned, which I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean, and breaks his phone. You know how they say it's been a pleasure? It hasn't. Mike says he's getting out of Dodge. APD tagged it and locked it in an evidence room. And Walt says, describe the evidence room. And Mike says, Fort Knox. It's a building full of cops. What else do you need to know? And why the hell am I even talking to you? Jesse says he's good with stuff like this. Walt says he's considering a device. And Jesse keeps saying, magnet, magnet. And finally, they pay attention to Jesse about his talk about a magnet. And it's off to old Joel's salvage yard. Of course, old Joel was the guy that was uh, helping them with the RV when they had the RV in Season 3 of Breaking Bad. And uh, Joe, when they tell him this information, says it's doable but expensive. Let's talk money. And Joe wants them to step into his office. But Walt, unfortunately, doesn't have any money now. IRS issues because Skyler gave all their money to Ted Bedeke. Jesse will cover it and Mike isn't really into the idea. Jesse says the only way he knows for sure it will, won't work is if we don't have you. Saul goes to the car wash to, spe to visit Skyler White. He says the police may call him. Or may call you. I put him. I fuck up like that all the time. Anyway. Uh, he says I know he says to say I know nothing. There was an incident, an act of God. We've got a problem. Ted is dead? No, no. Mike complains a bit, and Joe mention, mentions that uh, he's having an added, uh, mentions something about a positive attitude. And then they do a test run of, uh, of all this stuff where they have a bunch of batteries, and then they have a laptop. Jesse's holding the laptop, and uh, anything? No, still working. And then start walking forward. And then it starts to glitch. It worked. Magnets! Or he's more excited. Magnets! Because it's Jesse's idea. And then Mike says, if anything goes flying in that room, they're going. there goes your element of surprise. It won't matter. We'll be long gone, Walt says. Skyler goes to see Ted Beneke. Ted tells Skyler he hasn't said anything to anyone. I fell. That is all they knew. Or that's all they know. Ted says he won't say anything to anyone about what he knows. Jesse, Walt, and Mike arrive at the location where the laptop is located at. Walt slowly moves the dial uh, for the batteries, and everything in the evidence room goes flying against the wall. He finally turns it off, and then everything falls down. And while this is happening, you know, officer at the evidence, you know, at that location is on to it. He's in the evidence room. He sees everything fall down from the wall. Um, and he knows something's going on. So then the officer inside the building yells, outside, outside. And they go outside to see the truck that Mike, Je or actually Jesse and Walt were in, is like slanted against the wall with the two wheels up. And uh, yeah, they, they've taken off. Mike is taking Jesse and Walt out of that truck and they're they're out of there. And then Jesse in the, the car yells, yeah, bitch. And, uh, and uh, Mike says, shut up. What exactly are you celebrating? You left the truck behind. Walt says, so what? They won't find prints and no paperwork is on the truck. It's, it's clean. They, they won't find anything in there. And Walt says, it worked. We know because I said, or I say so. The officer at the station deems the laptop broken when they take a look at it. But there's also a picture of Gus Fring uh, in evidence. Uh, and it, there's something that's behind the picture that's visible. I believe, if memory serves me correctly, it's the guy that Hector Salamaca killed. And uh, there's some like part number or something like that uh, in the frame. Something, I don't know. There's something, some information behind the picture that they're like, what is this? Um, so Walt talks to Saul Goodman. He mentions the Ted Bedecky stuff to Walt and Saul says he didn't think to contact Walt and Saul uses the word ethical and Walt takes offense to this ethical. There's nothing about what you do. That's ethical. Saul says, you never told me that the kid would end up in the hospital. Get the hell out of here. You and me we're done. Saul Goodman says. Walt gets up, slowly approaches Saul, gets kind of in Saul's face, and then says, we're done. When I say we're done, Walt leaves and goes back home. One great quote in Breaking Bad, we're done. When I say we're done, along with, 
you know, I'm in the empire business, in addition to other quotes on the show. So Walt tells Skyler he heard what happened to Ted. Walt hugs Skyler, and then Walt tells Skyler, I forgive you. And that's what ends the episode. So interesting stuff. Obviously, they're setting up for a big final season of Breaking Bad. I'm going to score this episode an 8.7 out of 10. Uh, As far as the characters of the episode, well, we know Skylar for the females because Marie didn't really do much and there's really nobody else. And then for the males, I'm Jesse or Mike. Jesse probably, but Mike, in my opinion, is a close second. Uh, Jesse came up with the magnet thing. And that uh, that worked, and he should be proud of himself for making that recommendation. So, you've heard everything that I have to say. Now, of course, it's your turn. If you're a fan of Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul, or even an El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie, and you want to help me out with the YouTube algorithm, please consider Hulk smashing the like button. If you don't like, if you don't smash the like button, that means you don't like the show. And hey, it's an amazing show, Breaking Bad. So make sure you do that. Uh, share the video with a friend that likes Breaking Bad or anything in the Breaking Bad universe. Put this video on any one of your social media platforms. Don't forget to sound off in the comment section about what your thoughts are on this episode of Breaking Bad. Talk to me and Crazy Coffee Man about the episode. What would you score this episode? Who would be your characters in the episode as far as male and female? And then last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button, subscribe to the channel, join the team, show your damn support, and be a part of something special. And you never know what you'll see on JDev TV.